Okay, this is the second video blog for Saturday, and this is really going to help you guys out, I'm sure, because it's one of the, the major secrets on being successful in anything that you do. And uh, the subject will come up more and more as, I mean, I could probably lecture three, four days on this thing, and I have before, so I'm just going to give you little pieces. Um, you have to pay attention to how you're, how you're talking to yourself, like what you actually carrying in your thoughts is so important how how you talk to yourself let, let, let me give you an example okay let me give you a uh, just listen to me for a second what if you told yourself today's your day okay today's your day it's a brand new day you're gonna do whatever the fuck it takes to make it today and everything that happened in the past that's it and now you're gonna take your rightful place in life and that's it. No more being pushed aside. No more not, not having your voice heard. No more giving excuses. Now it's time for you to stand up and say, this is who I am, and I'm going to get out there and get what's mine. And I, and I challenge anybody to try to stop me. I challenge anyone to try to stop me. And from the time I wake up to the end of the night, I'm going to give it everything I got. And God damn it, if I fucking fail, I'm going to do this shit again tomorrow. I'm going to do it again tomorrow. And that's it for giving excuses. And I'm going to stand proud. And I'm a lion, and I'm a tiger, and I'm a dragon, and I'm going to challenge anything in my path, and the obstacles are too small, and you're too fucking big, and you know life is going to end. Sooner or later, you're going to die. From the moment you were born, you began dying. So isn't it about time you start living? Isn't it about time you start actually living, like living your life? Do you think that you need permission from another human being for you to actually do what you want to do in your life? Do you think that it's anybody else's fucking business how you fucking live your life if you're not hurting people? I mean, really hurting people? I'm not talking about someone's feelings are hurt because you decide to fucking open a business next to them or their feelings are hurt because you want to talk to another girl or talk to another fucking guy. That's not the kind of shit I'm talking about. When is it going to be where you fucking stand up and go, today is my day. That's it. Today is my day. And I'm going to fucking do it. And all the people that came before me in history that were less equipped than I am today to survive. Because I'm the brand new model of everybody in my fucking family. Welcome to fucking 5.0, whatever the fuck it is. iPhone 5 or 6 or 7. The same breath that went through Alexander the Great, the same fucking DNA resides in me, motherfucker, but I am the brand new version of it. Okay, cut. Damn, right? Well, what did I just do? I just spoke to you from my mind. <laughs> this is called Enter My Mind this channel what if you talk to yourself like that what if you said to yourself never again will I make myself less and weaker for another person never again will I cut my my own communication or cut my words or cut my tongue just because another human being can't understand or take it what if you said to yourself never again will I make myself weaker or smaller in this world there's some thoughts right there what if you actually were saying these things to yourself? What if you said to yourself, I'm fucking worth it. I'm worth it. And if my parents couldn't see that, well, that's their problem. Because I can see it. And if my ex-boyfriend or girlfriend couldn't see that, that's their problem. Because I can see it. And one day, even the blind will be able to see it. I wrote that shit when I was much younger. On a piece of whiteboard. A very, very similar statement to that. But instead of, instead of what I just said, what are some thoughts you are carrying? Probably the opposite of a bunch of that shit. It's important, the thoughts that you carry, how you talk to yourself. This is why being inspired is so beautiful. Music can inspire you. Movies can inspire you. I was, I've been fucking beyond inspired in the last 24 hours from all the shit that I've been reading, watching, movies, music. My iPod just got updated this morning. I told my girlfriend, please get these songs for me. She's like, what are the songs? That they speak my language. That's it. 
So take control of the fucking thing that you're telling yourself. And and you know what? I'm not going to tell you that it's easy, but you know what? Who cares? Easy is not a factor when it comes to being successful. You don't want it to be easy, trust me. I, I don't want it to be easy. I want people who have what I have to work their fucking ass off like I did, man. That's what I want. I don't want someone who's not going to put in their time and dues and energy to fucking have what I have. Fuck no, man. Fuck no. I want them to sweat fucking blood, tears, and shit like I did. And like I still do. But how do you talk to yourself, man? And then if you have children, how do you talk to your children? How do you talk to your children? My kid would be a god if I had a kid. He would never, ever be talked down to. Ever. Did you get that? Never, ever, ever would my child be talked down to. Because that's just wrong. He would have to be acknowledged for his power, or, or she, for who she is, her power. The child needs to know that they're capable of anything, that there's infinite possibilities for them. That they are the brand new version of you and they're better than you. Look, son, daughter, as great as I am, you're better than me. You're the updated version of me. That's how we have to think. Stop being so caught up in your little bullshit. And when you stop and think, you're like, well, how am I talking to myself? You know, I was at the gym yesterday. And... Um, my whole workout routine has changed. You guys, you guys just wait. You wait and see what I'm going to do to this physical body, okay? Because I don't do it like anybody else. It's different. My, I don't even break a sweat when I work out anymore. I don't. It's a totally different philosophy, but my body is starting to look really sharp. But anyways, the point being, at some point I realized that my music was, was bothering me when I was working out. That my iPhone, uh, not iPhone, my iPod was now detrimental to my workout. You know why? Because it was all this noise. And yeah, it would pump me up, but I don't need to be pumped up. I need to create. I need to use my mind to form my body. My thoughts have to be fully aligned with the weightlifting. <laughs> so I took off the, the headphones. And the rest of the uh, workout was done without my iPod. And it's going to be the same thing today. Music is now a distraction. Why? Because my thoughts are more powerful than the music. And I remember just about a week ago talking to my girlfriend and saying, you know, the worst thing is when you show up to the gym without the iPod. Everyone's had that, right? Without your headphones, you're like, fuck, you can't work out. Well, not anymore. I don't want the fucking distraction anymore. I don't want the distraction anymore. It's, it's, my thoughts are much more powerful and that's how you have to be. If you're working out, mm -hmm. if you're working out, you want your thoughts to, to create the muscle structure that you want or burn the fat that you want. Your mind is so much more powerful than what you imagine. And you are so much more powerful than your mind. But how do you talk to yourself? Oh, I have to go to the gym. No, no, man, no. No. That's not good enough. The women that I train, they know. That's your time to be beautiful. Your time to work on you and your mind. To feel sexy. To feel unstoppable. Let's get in there and create this one hour ritual. This one hour of moving meditation. My martial arts students know the same thing. You are there creating this this superhero out inside out out. This beast is coming out of you in that one hour is your meditation to move. It's never about that guy that you beat. Fuck that guy. That guy there's always someone faster or stronger than you. But you have to become powerful in your day to day activities. 
Pay attention how you talk to yourself. Pay attention how you talk to your children. Then, pay attention how you let other people talk to you. Because you're accepting too many communications that you, you need to check. You need to check those communications at the door. It's a regular part of my life when someone says something to me, I, I stop and I go, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? When you said A, B, C, what do you mean? Because if I... The way I'm interpreting it is negative. So if I'm wrong, you better fucking clear it up. Because don't be coming at me with some sneaky, hostile fucking bullshit that, that's sugar-coated. I don't want that shit. So I tell the fuckers that try to put some kind of constructive criticism on my fucking uh, channel. No, motherfucker, I don't need your fucking constructive criticism, motherfucker. I don't need it. I didn't ask for it. When I say leave comments, it's for you. It's for you to ask me questions that I can fucking help you. Do you get it? I don't need you to constructively criticize. Go fucking, you want to constructively criticize, go criticize yourself constructively. So you got to be aware of the communication that's coming in. Clean out your life. You don't need to be accepting communication from people that are putting you down. No. No. In my world... It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. This is my life. This is my world. And if you can't respect it, then you get on with it. But you're not you're not gonna come and and pollute my 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 air. You're not gonna come and pollute my water. This is my world. We just happen to bump into each other because you're right here too on the same time stream. But I'm completely my own universe. I am the center of my own universe. And so are you. But you're not if you can't control it. You're not if you can't control it. You're just some random atom. Electron. Bouncing around. No. you got to be the center of your own world. And we all are. You, you, you study enough ancient texts and you'll know. Okay? You're the center of the circle. You're the center of the circumference. You're the, you're the, you're the source of your own life. Okay. So think about, uh, you know, how we started this video. That energy that I put out for a second. This is. What if you thought like that? What if you thought like that? And some people ask me, like, you know, how do you do so many videos or talk? I can talk for days. I don't need a script. I don't need a script. I think a person who needs a script is weird. Like, you should just be able to speak from your, from your heart. You have to speak from your gut. Speak from your, from your soul. You know what I mean? Because all I got to do to talk to you is just to look into my mind and speak. Look into my heart and speak. Boom. Understand? If, we're, if you're in the United States, what is it? Saturday right now, Saturday afternoon. You got the rest of the day if you watch this video. If you watch it later and you got tomorrow, Sunday, then you, you got to you gotta be aware of your thoughts. I always tell you guys every single night, I ask my girlfriend, Are you, have you created your day tomorrow? You got you to gotta be, this is how I'm going to wake up. Because God, it becomes a struggle sometimes. And then when you can't go to sleep, I'll show you guys all this shit later, reframing and stuff, but when you can't go to sleep, it's not a bad thing that you can't go to sleep. You have so much time to think and create and do all kinds of imagination exercises and read and lay there at 2, 3 a.m. when everyone's asleep and maybe open the window and see the moon and listen to the night sky and ah, it's beautiful. You could just poetic. You got to be able to see it. I'm done. I'm done with it. I can't sleep. Fuck that shit. I don't want to sleep. When I sleep, I sleep. When I don't, I don't. Big fucking deal. You're making too big of a deal out of stupid shit. The only big deal is you. You're the only big deal in life. Understand? Cool. Peace.